In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us then confess our sins to God our Father. Most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done, and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may be in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, in his mercy, has given his Son to die for you, and for his sake forgives you all your sins. As a called and ordained servant of the Word, I therefore forgive you all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We turn then to page 21. Right? The first Sunday after the Epiphany. For the introit. Praise be to the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does marvelous deeds. Praise, Praise be to his, his glorious, glorious name, name forever. forever. You are the most excellent of men. And your lips have been anointed with grace, since God has blessed you forever. Your throne, O oh God, will last forever and ever. The scepter of justice will be the scepter, the scepter of, of your kingdom. kingdom. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, Therefore God, God, your God, has, has set you above your companions, companions by anointing you with the oil of joy. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Praise be to the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does marvelous deeds. Praise, Praise be to his, his glorious name forever. We return to page 159 for the Kyrie. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us return to page 21 for the collect of the day, which we'll pray aloud together. Father in heaven, as at the baptism, baptism in the Jordan, Jordan River, River, you once proclaimed, proclaimed Jesus, Jesus your beloved Son, and, and anointed him with, him with the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Grant that all who are baptized in his name may faithfully keep the covenant into which they have been called, boldly confess their Savior, and with him be heirs of life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading for the day is from... Isaiah, the 42nd chapter, <clears throat> this is what God the Lord says, he who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and all that comes in, who gives breath to its people and life to those who walk on it, I the Lord have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of your hand, I will keep you and make you to be a covenant for the people and a light for the Gentiles, to open eyes that are blind, to free captives from prison, <clears throat> and to release from the dungeon those who sit in darkness. And then from 1 Corinthians. The first chapter, brothers.
brothers, think of what you were when you were called. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were influential. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose the foolish things of this world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. <clears throat> he chose the lowly things of this world and the despised things and the things that are not to nullify the things that are, so that no one may boast before him. It is because of him that you are in Christ Jesus, who has become for us wisdom from God, that is, our righteousness, holiness, and redemption. Therefore it is written, Let him who boasts, boast in the Lord. So far, the word of our Lord. Then, from Mark, the first chapter, At that time Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And Jesus was coming up out of the water. He saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. At once the Spirit sent him out into the desert, and he was in the desert forty days. And being tempted by Satan, he was with the wild animals, and the angels attended him. This is the gospel of our Lord. Well, so much for the wisdom of this world, right? How many wise people do we have in this room? Influential? Any of us big people in the town, in the state? Of noble birth? <laughs> no. <clears throat> God chose the <clears throat> foolish things of this world to shame the wise. Foolish things of this world. Almost all can be reveal by how pompous they are. The wise things, the so-called wise things, the so-called noble things, right? Always they're pompous. Before we started this morning I had used an expression and then said, hmm, I have to be careful with that. I don't even like the phrase most scholars <coughs> say. Oops. Because, didn't you know, the world is 50 billion years old. Nearly all the scientists tell you this. They have proof. Well, what is their proof? Well, they don't need to prove it. They're scientists after all. And you're made to look very foolish, right? If you don't necessarily believe what they say. Of course, they change their story every two weeks, but you're supposed to believe whatever story they tell you today, right? <coughs> Whether it's the Big Bang, the Big Boom, or whatever name they're using for it this time. Hmm. The Pope in Rome says and that makes it good because of his all of his gold and pomp and public piety and how big and how powerful he is, right? Uh, really? Is it in accordance with scripture? Oh, is that important? Uh-huh. <laughs> Absolutely important. Your pastor has told you. Does that make it true? Does that make it right? Does that make it proper? No. What 
does Holy Scripture say? What does God say? <clears throat> when our Lord was born, was he born in the comfort of a palace at the center of things? No. Otherwise he'd have been born in Jerusalem or in Rome, wouldn't he? Oh no. Oh no. In the manger. And you have people who go around saying, well, God can't be a man. Jesus can't be God. Jesus was a man. <clears throat> and in all their wisdom, they forget that God can do whatever he wants to do. And if God wants to come to earth in the form of a man and be a man, he can Oops, that goes against all human wisdom and reason, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Very foolish, shaming the wise. Herod in Jerusalem, the wise men from the east, report back to me where this babe is born. Herod, afraid of a baby. Trembling. Had a baby born in a manger. Terrified, so terrified he sent soldiers to kill everybody, every boy in town. Uh, so that he wouldn't have to be afraid anymore. And Herod is remembered today for being wise and merciful and peaceful and wonderful king over his people. Right? No. He's remembered as being a savage brute. The foolish things of this world shame the wise. The weak things of this world to shame the strong. All the power of Israel, all the power of Rome took a man to a trial and convicted him without evidence, convicted him without the law being on their side, convicted him of high crimes enough to be crucified for, and still the government didn't want to crucify him and they <coughs> forced him to doing it, and they nailed Jesus to a cross, and the story's over, right? They won, they killed him, they put him in a tomb, again. Jesus, a man. We won't say mere man because he's man and God. Oh, somehow, beyond our reasoning, in one, rose from that tomb, shaming the strong, shaming Rome, shaming these, the Jewish authorities sh shaming hell itself. Death is mighty strong, and death could not hold him. <coughs> and there are people who say they can't be. And the scriptures say that God shows things that aren't <coughs> to nullify the things that are. <coughs> You're right, it can't be. Except that God can do anything. And God did it. You can't rise from the death. When you're dead, you're dead. I mean, you were talking to a lady this week who's worried <coughs> about dying. We're all worried about dying. None of us are young anymore. When you're dead, you're dead. That's it, right? No. No. What can't be is, because God has made it so, you won't stay dead, except to those who are on this earth, 
He will pass, as Jesus said to the thief <clears> on the cross, this day I will see you in paradise. You will pass in the paradise and be with Christ and live for eternity in joy and in heaven with Him. This Jesus Christ who can't be because He's a man. He can't be God. Yes, He is. Has become for us this wisdom from God which is wiser than the wisdom of this earth. <clears throat> the scriptures say our righteousness, our holiness, our redemption. Can any of us be good enough to stand before the throne of God and say, I was good, God let me in heaven? Oh no. Oh no. None of us can because our best good is filthy as St. Paul writes. But Christ is our righteousness. Christ is our holiness. Christ himself is our redemption. So, when we boast, and boast we will because we are humans, and humans love nothing better than to boast, let us not boast in ourselves. Because, well, no matter how smart and big and fancy and fine we may be in ourselves, we're pretty foolish. And let's be wise, however, and boast in the Lord, who is our wisdom, our holiness, and our redemption. Let us turn to the Apostles' Creed, which is found on page 167. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father, thank you that you have given us your word. Thank you that you have given us Jesus Christ. Thank you that your wisdom trumps all the wisdom of this world. Thank you that what seems foolish to those who are pompous and want to tell us how to be and tell us how, what to do, thank you that your wisdom is smarter than their wisdom. Help us, Lord, to trust you. Help us who are lowly who by the world standards are nothing much. Help us to continue just to follow you. Follow you in the ways which you have directed us and follow you into the joys of heavenly peace. In the name of your son Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us turn to page 170 then. The Lord be with you. And also, and also with you, you, lift up your hearts. Lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is truly good, right, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places <coughs> give you thanks and praise, particularly on this day when we commemorate the resurrection of your son Jesus from the grave. Therefore we join with angels and archangels and all the hosts of heaven evermore praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God, God of power and might, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord Jesus, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on 
on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us us this day day our daily bread, and and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as as we forgive those who trespass against us. And and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For For thine thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take eat, this is my body, which is given for you, this do in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Take in the very body of Christ, given unto death. Take and drink the very blood of Jesus, shed for the remission of your sins. Take eat. This is my body who is shed for you for the remission of sins. Take drink. It is a cup of New Testament shed for you for the remission of sins. Take and eat the very body of Christ given into death for you. Take drink. It is a cup of New Testament shed for you for the remission of sins. May his true body and true blood of our Lord Jesus bless you and preserve you in the true faith to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. We give thanks to you, Almighty God, that you have refreshed us (coughs) with this salutary gift, and we implore you that of your mercy you would strengthen us through the same faith toward you and in fervent love toward one another, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look 